we're going to have a look at how to generate random data in an Excel spreadsheet. Now this might sound like quite an obscure thing to do, but if it's something that you've ever been asked to do, you'll know that it can take a really, really long time. But with a little bit of knowledge, we can use the tools that Excel makes available to us to do this for us, to do it really nice and neatly and potentially save us a huge amount of time. We're gonna look at the main steps in this video. So let's take a look at the spreadsheet, you can download this spreadsheet. Uh, you can download this spreadsheet from our website, and I'll put the link below this video for you to download it. Uh, in this example, I've got uh, some people. I've just used uh, kind of anonymized names there, and I want three pieces of information: a favorite color, a favorite band, and a favorite film. And I'm, I'm going to input the options for each of those pieces of data. We'll get onto that later. In order to do this, we need to use Excel's random number facility. And you can see that I have three columns of random numbers here. Those random numbers are going into a table that's on the supporting sheet and then looking up a value in the table and returning that value. As you can see in this table, I've put in some values for colors, uh, some values for the bands and some value for, values for the films. So whatever, you're whatever kind of data you're trying to generate, you would use this kind of table to do it and you can customize it to what you're trying to do. Okay, so let's go through that in a little bit more detail. I'm gonna to go to the, uh, the practice file. So as you can see, we have random numbers here. I'm going to generate these again, just so you can see how to do it. So equals, rand, open bracket, close bracket. Equals, rand, open and close bracket, hit return. Excel gives us a random number between zero and one. We can then click in the bottom right hand corner of the cell, drag that number across and then double click in the bottom right hand corner of the selection and that gives us 1,000 random numbers three times because I'm using 1,000 people for this. So we've now got 3,000 different random numbers. That's important because you need a different random number for each piece of data you're looking up and we're looking at three different pieces of data. So that's the first step. Use equals rand to generate lots of random numbers and you need a random number for each piece of data. So now let's look at populating our table. This table is uh, really important. Let me take you through what's happening here. You can see some values down here and the values go from zero to one, just like our random numbers go from zero to one. Now that's important because Excel is gonna take each random number and it's going to fit those random numbers onto the row that it fits into. So if we have a random number that's 0 0.1, it's gonna fit into this top row because that's between zero and 0 0.2. And that will return the piece of data that's on that row. I've used five rows, but you could use two rows, 200 rows, depending on how many pieces of data you're looking at. And you can also adjust these values according to um, which likelihood you want or the probability you want for each piece of data. I've assigned equal probabilities to each piece of data, but you can adjust these um, to suit what you're trying to do. So the next step is to generate uh, this kind of table and I'll go through that very quickly. So the values first, 0, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0 0.8. And as I said, you can put whatever values suit you. They do not have to be equal. And then I've got to put my data in. So in the interest of saving time, I'm gonna copy and paste the data from here but as you can see, we've got three different types of data. I've got color, band, and film, and I've chosen five options for each. But as I said, you can have five or 50 or, or as many as you want. So that's our table. So what are we gonna do with this table? Well, we're gonna use VLOOKUP and a random number to return a value from this table uh, randomly. So I'm gonna generate a random number here to show you. So there's our random number. We're going to use a VLOOKUP formula to look up this value in our table. And let's have a color first. So that's one, two, three columns along the table. And we're going to use TRUE as the last condition. That's because it's an approximate match. Our random number does not appear in the table. So it's an approximate match. Close bracket. Okay, so we've got a value of 0 0.87 and it's given us yellow. So what's happened there? It's taken 0 0.87 and it's fitted it into uh, row eight because row eight is for values between 0 0.8 and one. And we can see that it's, it's returned yellow there. 
What we can do is um, get Excel to calculate, which means it will generate, generate new random numbers. So I just clicked on the formulas tab and calculate, and you can see that random numbers change. Now we've got 0.19 and it's given us blue. So hopefully that gives you an idea for how it works. That's with one random number and one piece of data, but you can, it could be one, 10, 10,000. I'm using 1,000 pieces of data. So let's go back to our database and we want to implement the same VLOOKUP formula in this column. I'm going to point at this random number first. Our table array is here and I'm going to fix that uh, with the... Uh, yes, yes, okay. I've given my table array a name, okay, which is a good idea. So that's, that's working well, mine's called VTable, but you could just select the area and then fix it using the F4 key. And the column I'm looking at first is column three, and the range is going to be uh, true. It's an approximate match because a random number does not appear in the table, okay? So it's looking at a random number 0.63, and it's given us returned the data, piece of data pink. So 0.63, it's got to this row and it's returned pink, okay? So with our VLOOKUP formula, seems to be working fine. We can double click and that takes us all the way down to the bottom. So now we have randomly generated data for a thousand people um, for our favorite color there. We're gonna do the same thing with favorite band and favorite film. Um, I'm just gonna drag this formula across. So I, clicked in the bottom right hand corner, held down the mouse, and I've dragged it across, and I'm just gonna change the column that the formulae refer to. So column four and column five. So let's double click on this formula. We can see this formula is now pointing at this random number, and that random number is 0.79. So we can go into, the, into, on, into our table, and 0.79 uh, refers to this, row seven, and it's returned pretty woman, okay? So this seems to be working well. I'm going to just uh, drag these down, double click, and I've auto filled those down. So we, we can go all, all the way down to the bottom here. We can see we have a thousand, for a thousand people that randomly generated data. So this seems to be working well, but I wanna do a quick check so that I can understand that the, uh, the distribution of the data is reasonable and uh, that it seems to be about right. I'm gonna do that using the count if formula, and I'm going to count the number of times that the Godfather has appeared in the favorite film column. It's gonna go back to the supporting sheets, and there we go, good. Okay, and just drag that formula down. Okay, that looks good to me. Okay, good. So uh, this, this is counting the number of times that these pieces of data have appeared um, in the randomly, generate, randomly generated data. And it seems to be reasonable. You know, it's about 200 for each one. That makes sense because each one has a 20% chance and we've got a thousand pieces of data. So using the COUNTIF formula, you can check quickly what's going on to give you an idea if the data is about right. Okay, so that's how you can generate uh, random data in Excel. Remember in the practice file, there's an example that's fully worked through. So refer back to that and see if you can get it working. And you can fully customize this for whatever you're doing, however many types of data and lots and lots of different options, however many you need. Let us know how you get on with it and best of luck.